So in today's lesson, we're going to be going over the popular social media app, TikTok. TikTok is a short form video app that is all the rage today, and it can be kind of intimidating to post your first TikTok. So we're going to go over the basics of how to compile your footage to make it as applicable to TikTok as possible. So first things first, you're going to want to download the TikTok app from the App Store along with the CapCut app. And I'll go into more detail about CapCut later. And it's also important to know we won't be needing much more than a smartphone. Um, optionally, you can use a computer and you can also use an actual camera. Once you have both apps downloaded, it's time to create your TikTok profile. It's important to choose the right profile picture and username so that it accurately reflects your content you're trying to create. So before we start creating our TikTok, if you're all out of ideas, I would highly recommend going to the For You page tab. This is where you can find stuff like popular trends right now and challenges to help give you inspiration. So let's start by filming our first TikTok. And there's a few ways we can do this. First, we can open up the TikTok app and actually record and edit inside the app. We're gonna go a little bit deeper today and we're gonna use an actual camera and edit within the CapCut app. And obviously you're gonna to wanna to record in the nine by 16 aspect ratio. And for your first TikTok, I would definitely recommend recording something pretty simple just so you can get a good feel for the workflow. Okay, so now that we've recorded our footage, we can begin polishing and editing. I find that most production takes place in post when it comes to making TikToks. So the software we're gonna to use today includes CapCut and Opus Pro. CapCut is what we're gonna to use to chop and cut our TikTok as well as add transitions. And then Opus Pro is what we're gonna to use to add subtitles. So I kept it pretty simple today. I just have two clips that I'm using. As you can see, I've already trimmed them a bit. Um, there's a couple ways you can do this. First, you can just drag your clip to its desired length, or you can use the handy split button. So now that our footage is cut to the way we want it, we can add some adjustments. Um, as you can see, our friend Michael here is talking about good lighting, so we're gonna wanna make sure he's as evenly lit as possible. We're gonna press the brightness button over here, turn up the brightness a bit, maybe up the contrast a little bit. There you go, he looks very well lit now. And then as you can see, there's a pretty big difference here in lighting. So we're gonna to wanna to add a transition there to make it a little bit smoother. For today, I'm gonna to use the inhale transition. That looks pretty good. Let's watch that back. Make sure to use bright and evenly distributed lighting. There we go. And you're also gonna to wanna to keep it kind of silly and upbeat. So we're gonna add a little sound effect here in the middle once the transition happens. Um, this will help keep viewers attention. And as you can see here, I also did some zoom-ins on his face when he says stuff that's important. This also helps to keep the viewer's attention. So now that our video is pretty much put together, we're ready to export it into Opus Pro. I would highly recommend signing up for an account on Opus Pro as it's totally free and you'll be able to get a lot out of it before you have to pay any money. So all you have to do is drag and drop your clip into Opus Pro and then you have to wait around eight minutes for your clip to process. Once it's done processing, you can see it did a pretty good job at transcribing, but there are a few changes I wanna make. First, I'm gonna change the emojis it used. I'll throw in some light bulb emojis and check marks to make it more fitting to what he's actually talking about. Okay, so now that we have this good looking clip, we can import it into TikTok. This is arguably one of the most important steps as this is where we add our audio. Adding an audio is crucial as it plays a large role in getting picked up by the algorithm. So the first sound I find is the SpongeBob audio and I really like it, I think it fits well. So we're gonna click on this, we're gonna adjust the volume and then we're good to go. Once we're finished finding a good sound, it's time to add some fitting hashtags. So we'll add hashtags such as advice, and video production. And there you have it. Your first TikTok is ready to post. I hope you're able to get something out of this tutorial. Obviously, there's lots of different forms of TikToks. Um, you can create whatever TikToks you like. This is just one of the more popular formats at the moment, so I thought I would go with this one, as it's currently what a lot of people are looking to emulate. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Pro video tip number two. Make sure to use bright and evenly distributed lighting. With good lighting, your videos will look much more professional, and it will get rid of distracting shadows.